The hypotenuse of a right triangle is 10 centimeters. What is the perimeter in centimeters of the triangle? So first of all, in order to find the perimeter, we'd need to find both B the base and H the height. Notice we already have one equation relating these three quantities, namely the Pythagorean theorem, which tells us that H squared plus B squared equals 10 squared, which is 100. So right now we have one equation with two unknowns. Statement number one tells us that the area of the triangle is 25 square centimeters. Area equals 25. Well, of course, area equals 1 half base times height. That would have to equal 25. Well, of course, here we have one equation with the two unknowns, and here we have another equation with the two unknowns. When we combine these two, we have two equations with two unknowns. And two equations with two unknowns, that's enough to solve. So this statement by itself is sufficient. This statement would allow us to solve for H and B and allow us to find the perimeter. So forget statement number one now and focus purely on statement number two. Statement number two, a very different kind of information. Statement number two tells us that the two legs of this triangle are equal. Let's call them both x. Well, then we know that x squared plus x squared equals 100. 2x squared equals 100. x squared equals 50. So we could find x from that. We don't actually have to do that calculation, but we could find x. And once we know x, we could find the perimeter. So this statement also gives us enough information to answer the question. This statement is also sufficient. If all this geometry is spinning your head, if it's been a while since you've thought about geometry, I highly recommend check out Magoosh.com. Magoosh.com is an online test prep agency that will prepare you for the GMAT. We have hundreds of math videos, as well as hundreds of videos on the verbal side. Those math videos include videos that will tell you everything you need to know about geometry for the GMAT. So do check out Magoosh.com. Meanwhile, in this particular question, both statements are sufficient, so the answer is D.